will require some uh, combined effort between our department as well as uh, Chief Spank Naval and the fire department. So we're, we're working hard on those. But uh, essentially the policies and procedures, um, the preliminary portion of the policy book, all of the conduct rules, uh, all of the rules that, as it relates to appearance, general appearance of officers and things like that, that, is, that remains unchanged. Um, those are very standard and have carried us through the years without an issue. Um, what you folks have to look at are uh, accredited level policies that we have gone through policy by policy and adjusted to ensure that they are accurate to our department. Excuse me, our department. So we intend on doing the same thing for the communication side of things. Um, it is the first step. Uh, my intention of, as I said, you know, even all the way back to interviews of professionalizing our department. We may not be officially accredited, you know, recognized by an accreditation board, but we will work towards adopting their general ideals. Mike, how are you going to communicate the uh, changes to your officers? Well, that's one of the other things that we we're, we were talking about because of the just the sheer volume, uh, we are going to get away from paper. Um, we have what we call a shared drive uh, on our um, secure network that we are going to post all of our policies, any special orders, directives, and things like that, day-to-day -day things for the officers and the dispatchers um, to access at any time they want. Um, and the initial uh, rollout, so to speak, uh, for each of these batches of policies will all obviously have to be signed off on by each and every uh, employee, and that includes job, new job descriptions as well uh, that we, we also have been working on, 40-some-odd pages worth of job descriptions. Some, some jobs we don't yet have, but hope to. Mm -hmm. Any other comments, questions? Thank you very much for working on I know that Kenny has been helping also. And Kenny Hartwright, Officer, Officer Hartwright, Officer Costa, Sergeant Cook are, are yeah, they've all been they're in up to their waists. Yeah. Um, it's, it's been It's a nice collaboration a of road. the department yeah. and the, the men working together. Oh, it's tremendous. We're moving in the same direction. So in reality, you would also like us to take, to accept these policies in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 41, Section 97A tonight, which you're not. That is correct. Second. Any other discussion? And these are going to be negotiated into the new contracts anyway. So. The, the, the policies themselves, um, my, my plan initially is to either issue them directly to the union um, once they have been approved by the board and give them a certain period of time to check to ensure that they aren't in, any, in conflict with the collective bargaining agreement. I don't know if I'm required to do that or not. That's really kind of some investigation I still want to do. Uh, but that was something that I had certainly thought about. Okay. I certainly don't want our policies to be in conflict with the, with the, the contract. So, Especially that policy about no vacation days. <laughs> <laughs> That's we not really there. We haven't rolled that one out yet. <laughs> That's not really there, so everybody don't get upset. <coughs> okay, so we have a second, a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And thank, thank you. you. All right. We need to do weights and measures. And measures. Just, just an update. We're working with the uh, city of Northampton. We've had multiple conversations concerning the indemnification clause that was an issue the last time we tried to partner with them. It seems like they're working towards something that we can both uh, agree to. So had hoped to have something a little bit more concrete tonight, but uh, next time. Okay. And this is, this is a yearly thing, right? We just, we did this last year. It was a couple of years ago we tried to partner with Northampton and we got ourselves into an impasse over the indemnification issues. Uh, this year we seem to be able to get beyond that. Okay, our last item in business before we uh, have announcements and go into executive session is town administrator's review.
So this is the first time we've done it this way. And when we reviewed the, so I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit about how we did it. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about how it was graded and how it came out. And then I'm gonna let each board member have a chance to add anything they wanna add. Um, and then I kind of have some suggestions for next time because I feel weird in a couple spots. And there's some little changes. And you know when you do something, when you look at something, when you're looking at something, and you're saying this is how you want to do something, do it, and you're not really evaluating or using it, it's okay. And then when you actually start filling it out, you see there's some things that could be made a little different. So that's kind of how I was going to do this. Okay. All right. So the way we did this is we put together for uh, a definitive plan and goals. The uh, administrator put together his goals and. We approved them and we went through this. Um, and then we came up with a grading procedure for how, how we were going to do it. Um, the grading procedure was the, the categories were either exceed standards, meet standards, or it does not meet standards. Um, and we rated them 3, 2, and 0 as for point wise. Um, <clears throat> we actually, the average, so if you, this is the first time I'm doing this too, so if I, so the average, uh, as we all marked it and we all scored them, um, the average score came out to be 50. And it was 100 points that were available. Or if you want to say one point, and it was 50, half a, half a point. Oh, sorry. Um, so it came out to be a 50. Um, There's some areas in which the town administrator did a very good job, and some areas which we found we need to talk more about. Um, in the financial management and budgeting and reporting, um, the high score was high score was a 10, um, and that was the highest score you could have. Well, that meets expectation of 10, and the lowest score that was ranked given was a four. Um, personal personnel and supervision, the highest was a 10 given, and the lowest was a, seven, a six. Um, the highest that you could have gotten there was a 15 for exceeds exceed totally exceeds expectations. Select, selectman's meeting preparation, the highest score was a seven and a half, uh, the lowest was a zero, um, the highest you could get was 12 there. Um, other projects, the other projects we had in your objective, uh, highest was a four, the lowest was a zero, um, six was the highest that could have been, could have been gotten. Um, organizational perspective, um, highest was a Five, the lowest was a zero, and the highest score you could get was a six. Um, respectful behavior and confidentiality, the highest score was a six, the lowest was a two, and the highest score you could get was a six. Teamwork, the highest score was an 11, the lowest score was zero, the highest score you could get was 15. Skill and ability, um, the highest score was 10, the lowest score was two. The highest you could get was 12. Uh, knowledge of community, the highest score you got was 9. The lowest was 2, and the highest possible was 12. Um, so I'll kick off with some, some of the things. As I was going through it, um, as I was going through it, I found that many of the things that we were asking, we were asking, we were grading you on, because you, we only had meet standards or did not meet standards, there was no making progress or there was no in between those and the way we had the score set up, I would have gone for was meeting progress in many of those things, but I either had to go one way or the other. Yes. And, and that kind of threw my scoring off a little bit and I think you're doing a better job than I've scored you because of that. So that's my personal take on how I scored you. Um, there are some of the things we've asked you to do, which we're just starting, and it's very new. The State of the Union report, we've only done that once. We have the next one coming up in September, I believe. So that's something new. Um, and it's starting off and it's just getting going. So it's hard to say how that's truly going. Um, so overall, I, I feel that you have as a town administrator, you have the best interest of the town at heart, and you're striving towards that. Towards that. Um, we we do as ha in Hadley, I think, have an expectation that things function a certain way, and that our government structure does not allow us to function in that way. 
So, and that's, and my take on how I scored it, that was some of the reasons why it would have been higher or lower. Um, it, it could have been both, actually both ways in that. But we have an expectation as a community, it seems, that we do things a certain way, but we can't do it that way all the time, and we have to do it another way. Um, and that's something that we need to look at, and try to, as a board and a town, look to see how we're going to correct that. Um, so overall, um, I gave I gave you a score above above the halfway mark. So, um, and, but I do think there's things we need to work out. Um, board meetings, the communication just in a board meeting. I think when we get board docs squared away a little more, it will actually be a little easier for us to comprehend um, the book. For me, is cumbersome. The only thing I really want need in paper is the the list, the agenda. Um, but I get a little lost in the book sometimes. I forget what I've read because it, I don't get. It's hard to, for me to do the book. I just just the way I am. Uh, but I think we're moving towards improving that greatly. And I, I look forward to using that. So um, that's kind of how I went, and I, I definitely believe we are. It, it is. It's, we're moving more positive. This is a much, much better way of doing this, and I think it went a little better than the last time we created you. I, I do see some room for um, improvement. We'll talk more about that after everyone else has something to say. So left or right to start, John. Um, I, I do agree with your point there. I, I after filling this out, I looked at a lot of things that I considered a failure and I didn't give you a good point for it but as Guilford had just said it's between meats and nothing you know there's a lot of issues I know that we're putting on you that that this board needs to take a little bit more responsibility responsibilities for ourselves and you need to trust in, in us to take some of some of the, the burden off of you David you know, and I think that's going to be a big thing down the road here. Uh, I don't know how the rest of the board feels, but uh, you, you, a couple of times throughout the meetings, I said, you know, hand it over to one of us. Let us take care of this, you know. You, you need to entrust in, in some of the professionals we have in this town to, to take over and, and do some of these little items and, and make your job a little bit easier, you know. Uh, I didn't have a chance to sit down and talk to you about it, but I would like to and go over a few of these issues. Um, I did give you below 50%. I, I would also, I, I mean, I see no problem publicizing our findings here either, unless you do, David. Do you want to keep it confidential or not? Well, it's up to you or up to us. Once we do this, this is a public document, it's my understanding. <coughs> The law is the law, whichever way it goes. You done? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a big picture guy, and, and I sit down and I look at the town of Hadley, and, and we as select board members, and what we're trying to accomplish here. Our tax rate is excellent. Our tax uh, credit rating is an AA, A+. Plus. Our stabilization fund has an excess of $200 million. $2 million. I wish it was $200 million. $2 million. <laughs> the sewer reserves are six fifty. Our water reserves are seven fifty. Uh, CPA we have a million five in. Uh, in the last twelve months, we've done seven hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of improvements to town buildings. So the state of Hadley, I think, is 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 wonderful. We do great things here, and we're having a, a great year. And, and as far as looking at ourselves versus other towns in the area, I think we have wonderful things to be very proud of. Doesn't mean we don't have things to work on, though. Poor Michael's looking for water, guys. We got to you know take care of those things. I think uh, that at this point in your career, you've been in the town of Hadley for 10 years, and a lot of people have heard no from you, and it's very hard for them to, uh, to be supportive of things that are going on. And then we, we tend to make mistakes, um, and some of the mistakes we've made have been very visual mistakes to people, whether it was, and this is for your copy for you, um, our DPW director uh, is not a very successful point in the past. The budget season was pretty tough this year. Um, not adjusting the um, treasurer's salary when it was, and, and it's, there's a lot of blame to fall a lot of different places here, uh, as, as that was put in. Uh, 
We have poor relationships with, with some of the uh, departments, uh, not departments, but the elected officials. And I think we're losing elected officials and some people feel that, they're, that they, they don't have a say and that they've been told no and they're trying to get other things done, whether it's What do I want to run for that position for? It, well, so it's, i got to listen to that. If and, it's, and you've heard it and I've heard it. It's in a historical yeah. uh, commission when they're talking about offering for help with, with doors. The CPA, with what happened uh, when, when you and Danny went to, to talk to them and how they felt about that. Um, a little bit of a strained relationship with the Buildings Committee over procurement procedures that we need to, to sit down and address and fix these problems that just get these things. And, and all our projects take a very, very, very long time from start to finish. And I know that you know people say that town government should run at the speed of an iceberg, but we seem to, to be overdoing some of that in what we do. So my, my point is, is that the state of the town of Hadley, I'm very proud of. I'm proud to be up here a board member. I'm proud of the job that you've done. And I was here when you brought some of these things first and foremost. I don't remember having uh, uh, $650,000 in the water reserves or 750 in the sewer reserves. Uh, I know that the, uh, the equipment in the town of Hadley has been upgraded significantly. And like I say, we're spending an awful lot of money on buildings. We got some great new people like Michael and Michael uh, that are on board, hey, and we need to, to get a DPAW director in here that's going to be supportive to get, you know, to help that th that process along. So my grade was above 50 percent, and um, I think we need to go back to the to the drawing board and and rebuild some of these relationships, explain some of the reasons we do what we do, as opposed to kind of a uh, a blanket no, so that people get a better understanding of what we do and why we do it. And I think, and I think that'll be a huge plus for everybody here. I think the town administrator has probably the most difficult job in town. Um, I'm used to be on the other end and having an evaluation done of me every year at the hospital, and uh, I'm not used to evaluating other people, but. Having had worked with you for all these years, having first hired you when you first came on board, there's been a lot of progress in town and there's been a lot of different things. You've had to uh, answer to five different personalities over a 10-year period every time there's a turnover. Uh, you've never um, spoken uh, against any other board member. You always have uh, been very professional in, in how you handle people, how you talk to people. Um, you're well liked by other communities. You um, speak very well. Um, other, other towns speak very well of you. Um, you have developed um, a safety committee, which we didn't have, which is a form of communication as far as I'm concerned, that you know, have brought the police and fire and building inspector and everybody together for, for meetings. You have done town hall meetings. Uh, you've tried all the time to communicate with people. I think that you've done a great job in that area. Um, unfortunately, um, townspeople don't understand, and I think people that work on some of these other committees do not understand the procurement officer and the laws that we have to follow. You understand the laws that we have to follow in, in going out to bid and the RFPs and everything else we do, and they don't understand it. And they just want things done immediately, um, taking, for instance, uh, well, why can't we get that roofer over here? I mean, you know, it's a, over a $10,000 project. You have to go out to bid. You can't just pluck somebody off the, off the road and, and have them do the project. So, I mean, you follow the rules and the regulations to what we have. Um, I have been most proud to serve on this, this board. Uh, I think over the last two years with Guilford having been chairman that things have been coming together a little bit better with you having had continuity of one chairperson and getting things together and, and working with this, this <laughs> working with Guilford as a chair that, <laughs> that it's, been, it's been better for you as well as for the board to have, not to have to deal with you know, everybody. And, we should be going through him as board members. Uh, there's always a chain of command in every position that we have, and we should follow the chain of command. Yeah, we'd like to have conversation with you, but if we're having a problem or if there's things that we think need to be done, we need to go through Guilford. Um, so 
I have put you above the 50% also. I think you do a great job and thank you for what you do and I know that you continue to strive to make Hadley a better place for all of us and that's what we're trying to do and I think you're on board with that and I know there's roadblocks and different avenues of people that would like to um, jump in at any time but you know but thank you to everybody that does serve and I think we can still make Hadley great as, as great as it is so thank you I apologize, I should probably say what my score is, but I didn't add the numbers up point. Right. Here, 50. 50? 51. 51, okay. Um, so that, that's the overall score I gave. Uh, a, a lot of things have already been said by some of the others, so I think just from my standpoint, hitting the, the highlights, um, things you do extremely well. Uh, I'm constantly running into people who work throughout the state. Um, they ask who the town administrator is in, in the town that I serve i mentioned your name and it's almost inevitably it's never very favorable there's a people say oh i know i worked on a committee with david or you know so I, I know that you know certainly externally um you've garnered a lot of fond feelings with, with other people over the years so that's a very good thing and it makes it always makes me feel good to hear that obviously because you don't want to walk up and have somebody say oh you've got to be kidding me <laughs> so so that's very good and you know, the way I approached this was, I mean, this is my first year doing this um, as a select board member, so I always try to reflect on the year from start to finish. I completely echo uh, Guilford's first comments. I found that as well of going through here. There are many things that I feel are trending in a positive way, but when push came to shove, the ultimate score, if I reflected on the entire year, financial management and things like that, um, probably, you know, didn't, didn't score you as highly. But, you know, I think I, what I'd like to just say is just take a, a step back from the details and that I have many details in here. But I think the greatest area of concern that I have um, keeps coming back to communication. And communication, in my mind, takes a variety of forms. Um, there's the writ written, oral, um, but it's also the who, what, when, where, and why. Knowing who needs to have information, um, when they need to have it, what the content of that information is. And I feel like a lot of issues that we've had throughout the year keep coming back to that particular area. Um, a lot of back and forth about the financials. And I assume when you, you know, think that you're handing the board something that they asked for and it doesn't meet the expectations, that to me is a communication problem. So either we didn't do a good job handing it off to you in sufficient detail, or you know you misheard or misinterpreted or, or whatever. But I think that that is a two-way street, and that's something that going forward, um, I'm more than happy to commit to really trying to do whatever I can um, as a, an indi individual board member, but also holding the entire board accountable to making sure that we're crystal clear in our expectations totally agree with Joyce. I mean, the town administrator's job is utterly thankless. You have a never, uh, an ever-revolving boss, so to speak. Um, and unfortunately, I think sometimes what it promotes, though, is a sense of, you know, you're trying to figure out what Molly wants, which may be different from what Joyce is looking for. And I think that you know, there needs to be the utmost clarity so that to the extent you're trying to serve different masters, um, we need to be aware of the fact that we're creating potential conflict for you. So one thing I would vehemently ask is for you to be more forthright and speak up. I also think that um, some of the things that I may have rated you less favorably on, um, expectations that were not met, may truly be because um, we're asking too much or in too condensed time frame. I mean, clearly we have personnel issues in town. That's not a, I don't think that's a bad thing to say out loud. We have a lot of work to do on the personnel front. And, you know, to the extent that you can hold our feet to the fire in that regard, you know, sometimes you just have to manage upwards too. And I think your tendency is to remain silent and, I don't know, go to your quiet place and hope that things will, will change. But um, 
but, but all we're seeing and all the public is seeing is, oh, David was asked to do something and he didn't deliver it. Shame on him. And I, I suspect that oftentimes there's a lot more to the story. So <coughs> I'm committed to hearing that when it's, when it's appropriate. So um, with that said, I think, you know, one of the comments I made at the end was, uh, you know, to the extent there's some common themes here, whether it's the financials, it sounds like the, the financial area and, and some of the ones were more uh, uh, again, lowly rated, that, yeah. that maybe as a board we need to be very specific and come up with corrective action plan probably sounds more harsh, but I mean, be very specific and say, this is what we want you to do and we would like to see you do so that you know exactly what it will take for you to get a better rating in those areas going forward. I think that is very fair to you. That's the right thing to do. And that's the way all performance reviews should be done. And I really hope that this process carries out throughout the town for all of our employees. I just had one comment on that. Uh, you know, like the tri board, when we got the finance committee involved a little bit more with the board, the school committee a little bit more involved with the board, it's, it's still a work in progress and it, it's going to be forever. It's, it's nothing that we're going to get an excellent mark on any time. But with all these professionals, as I said, you know, we've got a town accountant, we've got a town treasurer, we've got a, a real good finance committee together, I think. Uh, that really knows how to throw the numbers around and, and we need to address these people and and accept them and accept their numbers as the way they are you know uh, but we have to be more open we have to be more uh, receptive receptive yeah. to, to these things too and you know our accountant and David work very closely together yeah. on putting together the numbers so you know uh, I think also, the finance committee has to be more open to what the actual numbers are, too, what's coming out of the accountant's office. I mean, those are actual numbers. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that, you know, um, need to be looked at, but it's, it's, a, it's a continuation. It's, it's just a progression of what we're doing. And, you know, things change. Everything is fluid in life, and that's just how things go, you know. So, with all that said, this is a revolving process. You do it, and then you do it again. So here is everybody's it's for the file and for Thank the you. review. Um, and then we need to start talking about coming together and making your next year's about uh, um, goals. goals and objectives. Thank you. Um, and we as a board need to think, because definitely I like having the format we had, but we do need to have a middle step in there. Um, I, I think rather than three positions, maybe four or five. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We did there was, that's what I found. There was a few things where they weren't complete, but they're still being worked on. Yeah. You know? And that kind of was. So we need to work on our part. Um, read it. You let us know what you want, your comments, and then we'll talk about how to th make your next goals and objectives going forward. Thank you very much for your thoughtful and interesting comments. And uh, there's a lot of information, so I'll take it all under advisement. Uh, but thank you very much for the time that you put into this. I know that you're very busy people. You care very much about the town of Hadley, and we all want the same thing, which is the best for the town. All right. OK, so we've wrapped up our meeting for the night, except for one more thing. Is there any announcements people want to make before we go to our final Announcements. Enjoy your vacation. We'll see you when you get back. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you very much. That's right. Yeah. Have a good time. Okay. So. I'll make a motion to go into executive session to discuss the dis discipline or dismissal of or complaints of charges brought against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual uh, police department. Um, not to reconvene in open session. And we will also be discussing collective bargaining uh, or litigation. Second. As chair of the Hadley Select Board, I state that the board is moved and seconded to enter into executive session. And I state that the discussion of, this, of the matter in open session would have an adverse effect on the town of Hadley. Roll call vote. Waskevitz? Yes. Devine? Yes. Maureen? Yes. Chunglo? Yes. Egan? Yes. Good night, everybody. Well.